There's a lot going on in Washington today. As a matter of fact, more going on in Washington today than has gone on in Washington at this period during the calendar since 1970. You see, the Senate has to come up with some kind of a deal in order for you and I not to have to send more of our money to Washington, D.C. to fund programs that already are horrible in disrepair and do little or nothing except bring more people to the government teat. What should have happened is that the Senate should have come up with a budget. The Senate hasn't come up with a budget since April 29th of 2009. That's the last time we had a budget in the Senate. Senate should have come up with a budget, sent it to the House. The House looks it over, maybe adds some amendments, sends it back to the Senate. Senate, you know, argues back and forth. All of this done with you and I watching, listening, giving our input. You know what's going on right now? A lot of elected leaders and their unelected staffs are in back rooms making deals. You and I are not a part of any of those deals. We don't know what's going on. The last time the Democrats passed a budget, Sarah Palin was governor of Alaska. The last time the Senate Democrats passed a budget, Glee had not yet premiered on television. The last time the Democrats passed a budget, Bernie Madoff was free and stealing money. The last time the Democrats passed a budget, the space shuttle still had 11 missions to go before it was retired. Does this put it in perspective just a little bit? You know as well as I do, nothing is going to get done. And so off the fiscal cliff we will go. I submit to you tonight, that's exactly what this president wants. That's exactly what the Democrats want. Now what you're hearing is the president wants us to go off the fiscal cliff so he can collect more taxes. And that may be true. He loves to spend. But I think there's a more sinister plan afoot. I believe this president would like nothing more than to see our military decimated. And it will be beginning January 2nd. I'm sorry, January 3rd. The sequestration cuts kick in. $500 billion in military sequestration cuts. There will be... Probably estimate. I've, I've seen you know estimates ranging anywhere from twenty million to fifty million jobs that will be in jeopardy or lost over a period of ten years. The military that we will be left with after sequestration. And nobody's talking about this. Do you realize that the plans that have been put forth, even by the House, don't even address sequestration? Which kicks in on the third. None of these plans that have been talked about even address sequestration. The the complete decimating, evisceration of our military. I believe that's exactly what this president wants.